you know, I feel like I'm not recovering enough. I feel like no matter what I do, I'm always sore. I'm not performing my best in the gym right now. Should I take a day off? Should I take a week off? How long should I take off in between training sessions? Am I getting old? I'm not that old. Like, I shouldn't be feeling like this. Let's talk about this because we freaking need to. It's about time somebody... Right, first of all, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. None of this is intended to be medical advice. Consult your physician before doing freaking anything. But this is something that we don't talk about enough in the gym and the warrior culture doesn't discuss enough. Recovery time. A lot of the times I feel like martial artists, warriors, you know, we just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and eventually something gives. And that's when you're going to be forced to take time off. But it's not actually like a totally unnatural thing to feel sore in between working out. Like it's a normal thing. It's a normal process. Now, the thing is, how much time should I take off in between training sessions? Well, to give you a very simple freaking answer in case you just want to like keep it at this, the younger you are, the way less time you're going to need in between sessions, that is hard sessions, and the older you get, probably the more time you should give yourself between hard sessions. Now, when I say hard sessions, what do I mean by that? If you're going to wrestling or jujitsu or MMA or something like that, like a hard session would be a bunch of consecutive rounds of sparring and really tussling, right? If you're doing weights, like hard sessions would be like really pushing it and going heavy, heavy, heavy. So in that case, if you're actually doing that and we're assuming that you're not enhanced, like as you get up there in the years, like, number one, be intelligent about it. But number two, like, realize that you will need to give yourself an extra day in between. Now, I'm not giving you permission to, like, slack off on the days that you're not either working out or working out more. Those days that you're not lifting weights, you could be doing cardio. Those days that you're not fighting at the gym, you could be doing light resistance training or even heavier resistance training if that's the way that your body works. And it's different for everybody's body. Now, the younger you are, you might be thinking, well, I'm I'm 21 years old. I'm 26 years old. Like, I don't really got to worry. I feel fine. That's good. When you do start feeling that fatigue set in, I want you to think about it. And I want, it, I want you to give yourself enough time to recover. Now, again, for most 21-year-old dudes, that's like one night's sleep. And you're back at it the next day. And God bless you for it. I wish I was still that way. These days, I need about 24 hours to recover. And if it's been a really hard session, then I'll probably need about 48 to feel really good on the mats again. I'm 36 years old. I've been doing martial arts for 18 years. And before that, other shit as well. So I beat the shit out of my body. Um, and if you're anything like me, which chances are you are because you're watching this, I would recommend that you take care of yourself while you are still relatively young or young. It doesn't matter. Actually, to be completely honest with you, when you're in your like teens and 20s, to go for it. Like put on put in all of your hard work then. That would be my fucking honest like real recommendation is like you're not going to really hurt yourself too bad like unless you're stupid about it, unless you're not being intelligent, making intelligent options, then you really like will be fine. Put in all of your hard work in your teens and 20s, wrestle, box, martial mixed martial arts, whatever it is, judo, like Take all your hard falls, have all your fights in your 20s and early 30s. And then, you know, by the time you get 35, 36, then it's time to really get more intelligent about the way that you're recovering, get more scientific about your diet, your everything. All right. Because if you want to keep going into your 40s, 50s, and even 60s, then it's just you're going to have to be intelligent about everything. But when you're in your fucking 20s, like, Put your hard work in. That's what you're supposed to be doing it. It's all about hard work, do it, all right? And, you know, again, be intelligent, eat right, get your sleep. Like, don't think you're superhuman because you're not. You can get injuries, but even if you do, you'll probably recover. And if it's, you know, unless it's a catastrophic thing, in which case you'll probably still recover, to be honest. So put your hard work in when you're young. And then when you start getting older and you start feeling that, you know, that soreness like won't go away. It like it used to go away, like with a good night's sleep or with like a day off. Like I was fine. Now it's like two days. Before I know it, it's probably going to be three days, maybe even I don't know. But don't let yourself get soft either. All right, you got to push through some of it. In fact, I got a neighbor. The guy's in his sixties. 
he's fucking like pretty decently jacked. He looks very good for his age. And I asked him, I said, bro, I like, what do you, what do you do for recovery? He goes, I just push through it. I said, really? He goes, yeah, no, nah, like I take Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday off. And then I push through it the rest of the week. I said, yeah, that makes sense, honestly. So, but again, it depends what you're doing. And it also depends on the, the, I want to say the weight load that you put for your training. Like it depends. And by that, I mean, how many days a week are you training and what are you doing? And specifically how many hours per day are you training? Right? So let's just say you do weights, you do cardio and you do a martial art. Okay. And you do shooting. Cause I'm going to count that because it's very isometric. That's a lot of training. Like that's more training than most people ever do. But let's just say for a second that you do all that you're going to really need to be very intelligent about the way that you recover. You're going to need to make yourself get seven to eight hours of sleep or more. You're going to make yourself eat enough protein and carbs and healthy fats. You're going to need to make yourself take time off when you really feel like you need it. Like when you start walking like Frankenstein because your legs are so sore, don't push through that. Give yourself a little bit of time to recover. Why? Because the muscles need time to like, had they broken down, now they need to repair themselves again and get even stronger. That's the way building muscle works. Well, that's also the way that your mind works. That's also the way that your whole body works. Sometimes you just need to give it a break, let it get stronger, let it regroup, and then attack it again. Be intelligent. So the key and the real, the real focus that I want to put on this talk is, hey, let your body dictate the amount of rest that you need. If you're sitting there thinking, I don't know if I can physically go and like fight today, or I don't know if I can physically go and train today, I'm that sore that all my body wants to do is sit around and recover, then maybe all you should fucking do is sit around and recover and listen to your body. Because again, when you don't, like that's when you start putting yourself at risk. Learn to listen to your body. And if that means that you can't go out and train that day, okay, so be it. It's better off to spend one or two days resting and recovering than it is to spend two months resting and recovering because you were stupid and you did some shit and you pushed yourself too hard. Listen to your body. And again, there's a lot of great supplements out there that can help, but I'm not talking about like those extra supplements. I don't personally do it. I've thought a lot about it. I've researched into it and it's very tempting to do, um, you know, performance enhancing shit. But just for me personally, this is a personal decision for me personally, at least for right now, I've decided against it. Now, if you want to go that route, there's nothing wrong with it, especially the older you get. Um, just realize that like as a dude, if you go on testosterone therapy, you probably won't be able to have kids anymore. So either bank your sperm or like just talk to your doctor about it. He knows way more than me. Um, and then, you know, realize also that you, you're probably on that for life. You're married to it. But if that's what you want to do as you start getting older, honestly, there's really nothing wrong with it. In fact, I think it can be potentially very healthy. So it just depends what you want to do. Now, if you're a kid, if you're 23 years old and you decide you want to go on heavy amounts of like tests to like build a lot of muscle, well, I would recommend that you like rethink that decision. But again, the decision is yours. And if you are doing this professionally, if you're fighting, it could be hard because they test for that shit, um, you know, but there's ways to cycle off and stuff. I'm just saying it's a personal decision and I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about supplements like BCAAs, branched chain amino acids. I'm talking about protein shakes, glutamine, L-arginine, citrulline, like all of these like amino acids and, you know, fish oil and multivitamins and all these things can seriously help uh, and they do all right they're not hocus pocus they legit work they're expensive but if you've got the money to throw at it and you're willing to like put that money into your training and invest in yourself then go for it but do your research first and if you have any questions about supplements for fighting supplements for training throw in the throw in the comments below i'll make a video about it that's my advice when it comes to training don't feel like there's a stigma on this because I know I've spent many years in the warrior culture. I know that guys don't want to admit when they need a rest, but I've also seen guys who have been like me in the martial arts their whole life. And the older you get, the more you're willing to admit, I need a fucking rest. So 
Don't be an idiot. Listen to your body. When it needs to rest, let it rest. You can do other things. You can watch videos on YouTube. You can watch motivational stuff. You can go out to the range and, and shoot practice shooting or practice like night life light knife stuff on the bag. Or, you know, if you've got that itch to scratch that you want to train, you can still do other things for training. Start learning Spanish or Arabic or Russian or Chinese or whatever, right? That that's training. Um watch watch uh CCTV footage of you know, gunfights or street fights, or whatever. Like there's plenty of ways to train that, you know, you don't need to be completely physical about it. So start thinking about doing some of that to supplement your physical training. Until next time, please remember that you were your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Cheers.